All right, Breaker Broke 23, I'm gonna do a really quick down and dirty video on probably my favorite sounding uh, Bluetooth portable speaker uh, to date, uh, under $100, okay? So I have had a lot of Bluetooth speakers come through here in the $39 to $99 range, and uh, sound-wise, this is my favorite. This is the JBL Flip 4. Um, Let's start out with uh, the mechanics of it. Okay, so it has two 40 millimeter uh, full range drivers in there. Very good drivers, really top quality sounding drivers. Um, we have two passive radiators. We have a passive radiator at each end. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Um, of course, we have our controls here. So we have um, on off control, which I really like. Uh, it has the um, battery status indicator on there. So when you turn it on, it shows you how much battery you have left. All the way to the left is fully charged, and of course down there is getting down and low. This is the JBL Connect button, so you can hook up to three of these together. And you're gonna wanna make sure they're all JBL Flip 4s, so you have that kind of that matching sound. On the back here, we have a little access door that is uh, waterproof. We have our charge port there on the left. We have a 3.5 millimeter mini headphone jack on the left. That is for audio input. Okay, we have our Bluetooth button here. We have uh, um, track down and volume down. We have track up and volume up. We have this control here, which uh, when you have your phone um, Bluetooth to this in um, hands-free mode, this is how you answer your phone. Um, the actual microphone in here for phone calls is very good and um, fairly gainy. I'm going to say that's a really good sounding unit. I'm going to give that like about an 8.5, maybe a 9 out of 10. Sounds really good. And then the audio playback from your um, phone sounds really good in here as well. Okay, pretty nice uh, unit. Um, get a nice little box. You get the quick start sheet and some legal documentation, warranty information. You get a really cool, badass little uh, rubberized USB cord. Um, this is actually one of my favorite USB cords out of pretty much all of them that I own. And I have, oh my God, don't we all have like a hundred of these in a drawer somewhere? Okay, so sounds really good. Um, but I wanna tell you something. It does have a, there is something negative to this. I mean, the construction's really, you know, heavy duty. It's kind of a rubberized plastic. It's got this, uh, nylon rope type feel to it to protect it. it's very good looking got your little you know uh, strap here you can hang on to it with but um, these passive radiators are not protected and this really sucks because you know you could punch those in and ruin them and you don't really want to so passive radiators are used in pretty much all Bluetooth speakers to give them that larger than life sound. JBL, they know what they're doing. And this is kind of an old audio trick. I mean, I learned this back when I was like 11. I used to put uh, um, four inch cricket speakers in the ends of Christmas tree tubes, the, the Christmas wrapping tubes. You get a killer sound out of them. What do you do when you, when you put a passive radiator, a woofer, a mid bass, or even a mid range, and you load it in the end of a tube, you're gonna get a great response. You're gonna get a, a very full mid bassy response and um, not necessarily low deep subwoofer type bass, but you're gonna get a nice full bass sound. And this is what JBL did. They exploited this on this design. The problem is it's not protected. So I usually do my bucket of water test and all that, but I haven't done that in this one. Um, just because I'm a little paranoid about this, to be quite honest with you. Um, I know they're good quality and all that, but this is just an accident waiting to happen. I'd like to see a perforated grill on that to protect that or some sort of grill to protect that. Um, that really is the only negative to this. So therefore saying that, I would not recommend this for um, a kid. This is not a child's play toy. Okay. Let's hear it.
Okay, that's enough. All right, you guys. So I rate this speaker audio wise a 9.5. I mean, it's damn near a 10. Uh, it, it's really close. Like I say, in this price range and in this size, in this category of speaker, this is, in my opinion, probably the best one I've heard. So I really like that. Not a child's toy, though. Please keep in mind. So JBL, please redesign that. Other than that, I love it. My Actually, my wife snagged this one. She's, she likes this one the best out of all of them. And she plays the living shizzle out of it and loves it. She gets about, uh, oh, a good 12, 14, 16 hours of play time on it. And on a good hot charger, which by the way, this does not come with an AC adapter, but with a good hot AC adapter, this thing will charge up in just a couple hours. So, all right, there you go. I know so many videos on this Flip 4, but I'm telling you, down and dirty, this sucker sounds the best. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more fun with Bluetooth.